Mal Mesulanga, Minister. I now welcome Honorable Alma Amata Coleman Radwagen, Congresswoman, United States Representative from American Samoa, to share her thoughts about women in leadership. Madam Congresswoman. Yakwe and Talofa. Thank you. It's a special honor to be here at this conference, which recognizes the empowerment of Pacific women. A generation ago, I'm confident that a Pacific Women's Leadership Conference would not have had quite so many of us. I've been privileged to travel much of the world, and without doubt, I've seen many great advancements for women in my lifetime. <clears throat> Wherever I go, I meet rising women leaders in business and in communities, more women in military leadership and in government. That sentiment is also personified by the fact that I'm here in this country at the invite of a national leader, President Dr. Hilda Heine, and that also present is the democratically elected leader of Taiwan, President Tsai Ing-wen. I'm personally privileged to call these Pacific leaders my friends. More importantly, the United States maintains robust friendships with these important partners and many others represented here today. We have much more in common than the surface. That we're women elected to leadership, or even that we represent beautiful island places in the Pacific. We also share something more important. That is our deeply held values of freedom and democracy. These are the ideals that do more to advance the dreams and opportunities of women than any other political system on earth. I can tell you by experience and conversation in the United States Congress that our friends in Taiwan are known, appreciated, and supported exactly as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo recently put it, to quote his words, they are, and I quote, a democratic success story, a reliable partner, and a force for good in the world, end of quote. In the U.S., we are early in the 116th Congress. It is the most diverse in our history, including the most ever women elected to Congress, totaling about one-fourth of the entire membership of Congress. Why? Opportunity is a natural result of a free and open system. That's why Taiwan has strong female participation in public offices and a commendable record on women's rights. Nearly 40% of their legislature and a third of local offices are held by women. In some of our island cultures, we hold very tightly to our traditions. That's one of our strengths, and we should always hold on to the best of our Pacific ways. For instance, in Samoa, where I'm from, women can hold chiefly roles, such as my grandmother did before me. But elected leadership for women has not had such deep roots in our islands. That will change not because of some outside pressure, but because of the remarkable young leaders that are being educated in our schools as equals, trained in our armed forces as equals, or studying in the universities, just as many women as men. And this new generation of leaders will not be limited in their aspirations. I've had the opportunity to visit or even live in a number of the places represented in this room today. And I have especially wonderful, youthful memories right here in the Marshall Islands, President Heine. Throughout the Pacific, we share many things about our cultures and lifestyles as we share this great ocean. We also share in some way or another a Pacific partnership with the United States. In American Samoa's case, we are actually part of the United States, but others are freely associated states, and most here are friends, allies, and trading partners in areas like fishing, tourism, and other economic aspects. I want to take a moment to thank you all. I did not name every place represented here, but I knew, 
do know the U.S. values our many friends and neighbors and that the U.S. takes great interest in the vast Pacific region. One of these friends is New Zealand, which earlier this month endured an unspeakable sadness. I've been warmly welcomed in my visits to New Zealand, beautiful islands and wonderful people, and I know we all send them our love. Let's continue the progress for women by continuing the progress for everyone in a world that values freedom, individuality, personal beliefs, and expression. I know this conference will be a real encouragement and a success, and that we will leave this event inspired. I'm always so optimistic about the future, and I've never been more optimistic about the future of women and girls. This conference adds to my optimism, and it's a delight to join you. Komoltara, soifua maiamanwia. Thank you. Madam Congresswoman, Honorable Minister.